welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video or if it was on autoplay, thank you YouTube algorithm for bringing this up. Um, hi, my name is Anne. If you're new here, um, if you're not new, my name is still Anne, uh, but welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna do like a pantry restock, grocery haul kind of vibe. I just spent, I just did a huge shop and I wanted to share what I got because if you're like me and you're nosy and you like to see what other people buy, welcome friends, we are here together. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna start with the frozen, refrigerated, like produce, dairy, etc., first so that I can get that stuff into the freezer and the fridge. So the first thing I bought is these. These are the Tyson crispy chicken strips. This is like the only kind of frozen chicken that I like. The rest of them taste weird. So this is great. I put this on salads. My husband uses it for like nachos and wraps and things like that. Next, we have two blocks of cheese because we eat a lot of cheese, obviously. But actually, this is gonna last us a while. Um, but like tacos, fajitas, anything like that. Also great for like snacks and making adult Lunchables with. Next we have some sour cream, pretty basic. Um, this is the Noosa strawberry rhubarb um, yogurt. If you haven't tried Noosa before, it's the it's like, you know how there's like Greek yogurt? Well, this is the Australian, um, I don't know, Aussie production style. Um, it's super creamy and my favorite is the strawberry rhubarb because it tastes like absolute heaven. I also got a roll of breakfast, so oh, okay, that's slippery. I also got a roll of breakfast sausage because sometimes we like on the weekends we like to just take it slow. Alex will cook breakfast for me, so we'll have kind of like a leisurely morning. And I thought some sausage sounded great. Um, I also picked up two of the little mini. This is the crescent rolls. Croissant. Um, I picked up one of the crescent rolls and one of the buttermilk biscuits. This is just like a fun thing to have for like I don't know to accompany a dinner or whatever. Like it's just fun. Also, they're just tiny. <laughs> A little baby size. Um, I picked up a nice hefty slab of bacon um, because I like to cook this up also for breakfast like on the weekend but I like to cook this up and put it on salad so you can do like a chicken bacon ranch with corn you could do I like to do this one with like strawberries and goat cheese dang it I forgot to get goat cheese and bacon and like balsamic that's also a really delicious one that I like to eat on the reg is that a reg on the reg is that like a thing kids say I don't know anyways um, some string cheese great for snacks and last yogurt was this wee wee um does anybody did anybody ever watch like mr bean and like the way he said wee, like that um that's just what i think about anyways mocha and chocolate we'll give it a try i really like this wee this wee brand i am butchering that so bad clearly i took spanish in high school instead of french um a giant box of Spring mix because your girl needs to eat her salad. She's got to get her veg in. Um, and then I also picked up these are for my husband. So we are doing this thing where when we, whenever the other one goes to the grocery store, like if I went to the grocery store, I buy him like little things that are just like treats for him, and he does the same thing for me. So like just random things that we think the other one would like. So I have a few of those in this haul, but this one is um, another like Pillsbury mini cinnamon sticks. I don't know. I don't even know what cinnamon sticks are, but it felt like something that he would like. So I have that for him. And then I also have this for him, strawberry. Oh, this is the raspberry lemonade. Um, he is just like, he's a sweet drink kind of guy. I'm not a sweet drink person at all, but he loves his sweet drinks. And we don't like really buy soda. So I was like, let's have some juice. And on that same vein, I got him a sweet tea. He likes my sweet tea better, but I'm lazy and I don't want to make it. So I got him a sweet tea. And then, this is for, well, I guess for both of us, but me, because I'm usually the coffee drinker. Some creamer. This is the Khalifa Farms uh, Almond Milk Creamer in Vanilla. I really like this one. I kind of alternate between this one and the, the hazelnut flavor. They're both delicious. Okay, continuing with the vegetables. We have a bag of carrots, the whole carrots. My dogs like to eat carrots sometimes, so like, especially my puppy, he like, likes to chew on things, and so carrots are his favorite thing. He's literally right here sniffing me because he knows that carrots are, they're inbound. They're coming so soon. Uh, <laughs> strawberries, literally every time I go to the store, I buy strawberries. I don't know why, but like, I could eat strawberries every meal for the rest of my life. I just love them. Um, also for berries, some blueberries. 
I got a head of broccoli. We're going to do, I'm not sure what we're gonna um, have this with, but just like maybe a protein and a side and have our broccoli. I love broccoli. Um, a cucumber. I want to make like, this is great for like adult Lunchables, or I also really like to make this salad in the summer. It's cucumber, tomato, corn, which I got. And then you can put like white beans in it. Those are optional. And then you put like some vinegar on it. Like you can use right, right rice vinegar you could use white vinegar you could even use like red wine probably even balsamic and then it's just like a delicious summery spring you know light salad thing so i might make that i might use this for adult lunch bowls that looks really inappropriate so here are the tomatoes i got um yeah they're just tomatoes and then i have the corn I'm so excited because it's summer, sort of, and we have the fresh corn. I love the fresh corn. My husband grills this for me, and then I just, like, eat it whenever I want. So I put it in the fridge, and then I, like, slough. Is that a word? Slough. Like, S-L-O-U-G-H. How do you pronounce that word? Just, like, cut off the, you know, the kernels from the cob, and then just, like, have my corn however I want, like, in a salad or whatever. Um, I don't really know why I told you how to eat corn, but if you were curious... That's how I like to eat corn. And then um, the last vegetable I got was some poblanos. My husband wants to make fajitas, so we're going to have fajitas with the uh, poblanos. That is pretty much all the things that are going to go in the fridge. The rest of this is like pantry household items, which it was like more of a pantry restock, so that's the majority of what I ordered. Milo, <laughs> he is like digging his face into the reusable bags on the ground because he's like, are there treats in here for me? There are not, Milo. There's nothing in there for you. Okay, so in terms of like pantry things, um, I got some corn tortillas. We eat a lot of these in this household. These are the best, like quick dinner, make some tacos, fry them up on the stove. Don't fry them, just like cook them in a pan and they get like kind of um, crunchy a little bit and they're just delicious. So we have like all, we have a pack of these in the house at all times. Next, I have some jam. This is the Bonnie Mamang. Bonnie, I'm on. This is a strawberry one, superior flavor. Nolan, my friend Nolan turned me on to this. Thank you, Nolan. I've had these before, but he was like, y'all, you gotta have the strawberry one. And he was right. He did not disappoint. Strawberry is the best flavor. We got several electrolyte packs. My husband likes to drink these. He has a very physical job. He sweats a lot, all the things. Also, I have migraines, so I need to watch my electrolyte balance. And, you know, so anyways, we got like a bajillion electrolyte powders. If you drink the like liquid, the IV liquid hydration things, obviously those are great and they have other things than just electrolytes in them. But um, if you're just looking for electrolytes, just like pick up the Gatorade or the Propel packs because they're way cheaper and they have electrolytes as well. Next, I picked up a couple of muffin mixes, um, a raspberry and a blueberry, because again, these are just fun to have for like a Saturday morning, to whip up some muffins and just like, just like, you know, take it easy. I was really craving some muffins and I didn't, I mean, I could make them, but that would require effort. I have some easy sides. We like to put these in our pantry when we're too lazy to cook or tired to cook more more often than this because we're tired. And just like whip one of these up and then put a protein and a veg with it and then we can have a full meal. So I got these. I really like the Seeds of Change brand. Their Mexican rice is delicious. I also like the one with like spinach and kale in it but they only had this one at the store so that's fine. This is the seven whole grains. I'll take it. Um, and then we got some of these. These are like a fun kind of treat um, side, the nor, uh, urban butter, and then the mushroom flavor. I have really been craving mushroom risotto, and obviously that's not like a mushroom risotto, but it's kind of close, so I was like, girl, I'll take it. In terms of, like, snacks, I got a few things. Well, first I got a couple of chocolate bars. I like to put these in the freezer and then, like, have a couple of squares when I'm, like, PMSing or, you know, when you're just craving chocolate. This is the Salint... Um, touch of sea salt. Love the sea salt in this. It really like elevates the bar. And this is the um, XO chocolate, whatever. What is this brand? Love chocolate, XO chocolate, love, I don't know. Um, I, this is a local brand, I'm pretty sure too. It's a, uh, I think it's a Colorado brand. It's the dark chocolate with salted caramel. Do you say caramel or caramel? I say caramel. If you say caramel, like 
how like how does that slide off your tongue is it just like do you make yourself say it or is that just like how you say it like i don't know how i say caramel like people just say caramel like that feels like so labor intensive caramel anyways focus um i picked up a couple of these yogurt covered raisins i picked up the strawberry flavor if you can't tell there's a theme that i am like strawberry stuff but i thought this would be fun for like adult lunchables just like a snack when i'm craving something sweet um i got these bobo lemon poppy seed bars bobos these are really good I like them a lot. They had the lemon poppy, lemon poppy seed. They only had the lemon poppy seed, but like, girl, I'm fine with it. Love, love, love me some lemon. Love me some poppy seed. Um, I picked a, a box of peanut butter chocolate chip date and nut bars. Oh, I didn't realize that's what that was. These were for Alex for his like breakfast in the morning. I don't think he's gonna like a date and nut bar though, so I might eat those. Whoops. I also picked up some Ritz. Um, these are the individual sleeves, and these are, uh, does anybody, did anybody watch Home Improvement? Do you remember that guy, um, Wilson maybe was his name, and he was like always like this over the fence? Um, I don't know why I just, that happened in my brain. Um, that's a very niche reference, and only some people, only 90s kids will get it, my friends. Anyways, these are the individual sleeves because, number one, great for adult lunchables. Number two, um, what was the other reason? Oh. We're going on vacation. If you haven't heard, we're going to Alaska and I get nauseous on the plane and having like a roll of these just helps me like not bark my face off. So, you know, just something like simple, easy to eat. So I got some of these for when we go to Alaska. Then the next things I got for Alex are kind of like treats for Alex. Um, the, I got him some Pop-Tarts. These are the s'mores flavor. The only Pop-Tarts that I like are <laughs> Surprise, surprise, the strawberry ones. Um, so I got the s'mores ones for him. He said he likes the weird flavors, and I was like, why? But he does, so whatever, to each their own. I got him some, he's from New Mexico, he's a really big green chili fan, so I got him some green chili queso dip. You can't really see that, but um, it's the 505 brand, which is, I think, like, authentic. This is the New Mexico, it's called the, this, like, cross here. It's called the Zia symbol, Z-I-A, I believe. Um, he has a tattoo on his arm. If you are, know us and you didn't know he has a tattoo of that, ooh, he does. Uh, anyways, I, so I think that it's authentic to New Mexico. I think it's a New Mexican brand. Um, yeah, Albuquerque. So anyways, I got that for him because he likes, he likes Mexican food. He likes dips. He makes nachos a lot. So, you know, he'll be that. I guarantee you when he sees it, he'll be like, oh my God, yay. So anyways, um, I also picked up these Crispins, the barbecue flavor. Freaking hate barbecue chips, they're nasty. So obviously these are for Alex. Um, and then these ones, I might eat some of these too. These are the snapped, wait, yeah, that's what they're called. Snapped, cheeses. These are super good, I got the double cheese. I actually really like these. They're good also for adult Lunchables. Drink every time I say adult Lunchable. Um, anyway, they're really good and I think they're like the superior cheese it So if you're still eating other like OG cheez -Its, you gotta try these ones. Okay, that is kind of it for the pantry section. Now we're moving on to like the household goods and clothing section, my favorite. I literally spent an hour in like the travel aisle today, like the skincare aisle, and then I realized what time it was and I was like, good Lord, you have spent an hour in here and let's go. If you haven't heard, which I'm sure you have because I just said it like two minutes ago, we're going to Alaska. So I picked up a couple of like travel essentials to take with us. So I got a little travel pouch of these Clorox uh, wipey, wipe, wipe pads thingies disinfecting wipes that's what I meant to say um I just carry these like in my carry-on in the pocket of my carry-on because these are great for like when you're sitting in the terminal like wiping down the armrests or like when you go into the plane you like wipe I wipe everything down um yeah just like this is these are just great to have I keep these on my person also these these are like hand wipes um so these also work really really well if you get a stain on your shirt like the stain removal power of these is like unprecedented these are better than a tide pen these need to be marketed as stain removal wipes like i ain't kidding they, they work so well but anyways they're really good for like if you have grimy hands after you touch things and you just like can't handle that which i cannot handle that so i keep these on my person as well i got a little travel deodorant um i may or may not actually use this uh for deodorant i might just use it for like i don't know chub rub i was like trying to think i was like well, yeah, I would use that for chub rub, but we're going to Alaska. We're not going to like Florida, so I don't think I'll like be wearing shorts or anything. So I'm not really sure 
I think I need that, but you know what, I have it. Oh, it's really good for like on the plane when you like are sitting next to other people and you just feel like gross, like just refreshing after you get off the plane. It's good for that. Found a use for it. Um, I also picked up some EOS shave gel. It's not gonna focus, there we go. It was a cute little tube. This is a pomegranate raspberry flavor. I also picked up some Band-Aids. These are not for traveling, I, they're in the wrong section. They're just for, you know, living your life. Um, I picked up a little travel, little travel guy of bug repellent. We're gonna need that again. We're going to Alaska. A little soap bar. I was gonna pick up like a body wash, but I figured like it's probably, I think the soap bar would last longer and we'll just like put it in a plastic bag or something when we're traveling places. So I've just dropped it all. Um, I also picked up this downy wrinkle eraser. Downy wrinkle eraser. That took so long to focus. Um, we do, cruises do have formal nights and so we do have to bring some like formal wear. So I, I picked that up for that. Hopefully that will help if our formal, if our formal wear gets creased. Um, I also picked up a baby powder, a little individual baby powder. I got some shampoo. This is the Herbal Essences Rose Hips Shampoo, just one bottle. And then I picked up two bottles of the conditioner because your girl has long hair, long hair. And so I think one shampoo, I don't use as much shampoo as I use conditioner because I have such long hair and I like drench it in conditioner. So I figure one shampoo will be fine, but two conditioners will probably be needed. So I picked that up. Um, I also got a little box for my Q-tips and two little um what are these called loofahs so one for each of us but i don't actually know if we're gonna bring loofahs but we need new loofahs in the shower anyway so i was like if if we decide not to bring them we can just put them in our regular shower that is all the travel stuff now just moving like to the regular household stuff so i picked up a pair of these these are like uh hair cutting scissors um, I trimmed my husband's beard for him and we use like kitchen shears. So I was like, we need to get us some like, you know, oh wow, these are upside down. No, they're not. Okay. We need to get us some like actual hair cutting shears. So we've got some of those. I got a little thing of Advil. Of IB it's actually just ibuprofen. Um, this is a sleep spray. It's Dr. Teal's Aromatherapy Sleep Wellness Spray. Body mist, room, and bedding. I'm gonna smell this. I should have smelled it when I was at the store, but ooh, she smells real nice. Okay, I don't regret buying that. So I'm trying to create a routine at nighttime that like helps me fall asleep and like not have anxiety thoughts. If you have anxiety, girl, me too. Um, but so I'm thinking like a spray at night, like helps my body understand that like, hey girl, it's time for sleeping. I'm gonna try it out and see how I feel. Sorry. Um, okay, what else I got? I got, I, I needed some lotion, so I found this. It's the Be Fresh brand. Let's bounce. It's a firming body serum, which apparently gets also a lotion. Oh, it's closed. Let me smell it and see if I like it. Okay. I mean, I don't hate it. Wow, it's interesting. It's like a gel. That may not replace a lotion. I'm not sure. I just was like, what is this? I would like to try it. I also bought a refill for our hand soap. This is the rainwater scent. If you know, you know. Um, some daily clarifying shampoo. This is, I use this shampoo quite a bit to help get the gunk out from my hair from my like styling, styling products and everything. So I use daily, clar I use clarifying shampoo a lot. Oftentimes I double shampoo. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But anyways, love this stuff. This is also really great for washing your makeup brushes. Um, I picked up a huge bottle of Drano because ever since we moved in, the drain of the sink in the master bathroom just like gets plugged all the time for no reason. I'm sure that like the tenants before us like did something to the sink, um, but I I don't know. So we just have to put Drano in it every once in a while. And then I also picked up a card for my sister-in-law. She just got married. So a little card for her there. And now we're going to move on to the clothing items. So I bought, I picked up this hat. I saw this hat. Oh, it's a little tight. I'll have to fix it, but. It looks a little weird in the camera, but I think once I like wear it and break it in a little bit, like, is it a vibe? I think it's a vibe. I was just, I don't know. You'll see I picked up a lot of denim things. I don't, I was like in a denim mood. I just think this is really fun. I want to bring a baseball cap to Alaska because, uh, I don't know. If it's sunny, I'd like to have a baseball cap. And then also, 
it's a good thing if your hair is like a little bit oily and you don't want to do your hair or whatever um i don't i don't know i just think it would be a good thing to pack so i actually quite like that for some reason the bill looks like weirdly distorted in the camera but um i think it looks so pretty good i love this like washed like sort of like distressed denim look you know it's just really it's giving me it's giving me good vibes it's giving me vibes so anyways i got that um I got nothing a washcloth. I also picked up some socks. So if you haven't heard, we're going to Alaska. <laughs> I promise I'll stop saying that. Um, I need some no-show socks for Alaska. Um, and your girl has big feet. I have size 10 feet. So these, I can never find socks. All the socks that I find are like six to nine. And if I put my foot into that, like my foot will fit, but it just like stretches the sock and it doesn't fit my foot, right? And it's just not a good look. It's not, I don't like it. So I found extended sizes. This is an extended size of nine to 12. These were at Walmart, my friend. So if you have big feet as well, or just like, where, if you have feet that are larger than a nine, um, try, they had a bunch of styles. This is, these are the Reebok ones. And these are like the cushioning ones because we're gonna be doing some walking and stuff. So they have an extra cushion, but they had some like really lightweight ones as well. So if you are looking for sizes of socks and extended sock sizes, extended sized socks, um, you should check out Walmart because they may have what you need. So I'm going to give those a try. I also like the colors. I like the pink and the white and the gray. Um, I got a pair of um, jeans. Bing! Yellow. So these have a cute little detailing on the edge. Um, and they're pretty stretchy. Um, so I'm going to try them on. I don't know. They look a little small. They're my regular size, but they look a little small. So... We'll see if those fit. Um, and then I got, I'm actually like hella stoked about this. Let me see, oh my God, it snaps. Oh my gosh, hooray, okay. So you know that I've been into the shacket phase. I'm obviously wearing a shacket right now. I'll take it off so that you can see this one. This is like, oh my gosh, this is like an oversized denim shirt can be used as a shacket. So I am beyond excited. I picked this up as well. Um, let me just turn the camera down so you can see it. Okay, so here we go. It's like an oversized denim shirt. It's kind of like, it's like a jacket, I would say. It's a cross between like a jean jacket and then a shirt. Um, but I mean, I think you could wear this as a shirt. It would be very hot, but you could. And then look, the buttons snap. So like, you don't even have to like button them. You can just snap them up and you can just be like, Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. It's very, it's like stretchy as well, which is great because you can do oh, so much room for activities. Okay, and then the last things that I got are some sparkling waters. I got this one, La Croix. Um, This is the beach plum. I really like this flavor. I got a caffeine bubbly. This is the blood orange grapefruit. I get these for Alex. And then this is my OG bubbly. This is my Chiawi. Chiawi. Um, best bubbly ever. If you're, if you're a bubbly fan, if you're a sparkling water person, try the cherry. If you're new to sparkling water, try the cherry. Um, my brother's girlfriend said to me that, listen, if you should know anything about our family, about our household, it's that we never go without sparkling water. Given any given time, there will be oodles of sparkling water in the fridge and the cabinet like it never ends my brother's girlfriend told me that while she was dog sitting for us um she like was like my god they have so much sparkling water let me try it and now she's hooked like i have converted her to a sparkling water person and if i die like when i die and leave this earth if i am known for the fact that i converted people to loving their sparkling water i'm fine with that if that is my legacy, a, a sparkling water converter, if you have joined the sparkling water cult because of me, listen, I'll die happy. I will die happy. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't enjoy, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, if you want any of these things, I was at Walmart, y'all, so you can just take your little booty over there and see if they have any of these things. Um, I'd love to know what you like stock up on. I love to see what other people stock up on. If you want to share, please feel free. I would love to know. Um, and otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. And there was one more thing. Nope, I think that was it. Um, 
Thanks for watching and I will see you soon. No, no, stop that. Okay, so that is pretty much all the things that are gonna go blah, blah, blah. If you haven't heard, <laughs> we're going to Alaska. That was the weirdest laugh I've ever done in my whole life. Is my face oily? Like maybe a little. Is it too oily? I think it's too oily. Okay, we've done powder. Is that better? Whew. I am hot. Boiling. It's boiling. Boil that dust back. Boil that dust back. Boil, boil, boil. Okay, let me set this out. Here we go. We're setting all of this junk out. I feel like I'm preparing for a movie set. Welcome. Welcome to my life. This is the story of Anne. Hello, thank you for watching my video, the movie of my, my bio. Who would play me? I want somebody funny but smart, like Amilus McCarthy. She came originally to my mind. Who else do I like? Maybe like an Emma Watson. Loving that for us. 